Hi, it's Dallas Jamal 1053 here with uh, a couple guys I haven't seen in a minute since uh, 2015 or so was the last time we talked to you. Some things have happened for you guys since then. An album called Blurry Face came out. That did well. Trench came out. That did a couple things. Um, and most recently, uh, Josh Dunn, you, uh, you got engaged since the last time we talked. Yeah, that has happened. And I got engaged a couple months ago at a music festival. And one thing Tyler did like long before us was do that. Yeah. And I was curious, like, did you give Josh any advice prior to doing that? I don't think so. I think that maybe we talked about how it's funny to, you always wonder, like, what if they say no? <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah, like, you gotta be concerned. What if you misread the entire The whole thing. Years. Like, you weren't even this dating. Way, this, it's just, what if that was How long did you know Jenna before? So you, you felt you had a pretty good idea. Yeah, but you never know. Yeah. You can miss, a, you can miss for two years. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking you're on the same page. Maybe you just never had the conversation. Then, well, you know, I don't know. You just had those. I don't know if you had, had those nightmares right before. Yeah. I think it's, uh, yeah, I mean, me and Tyler have talked about how it is, like, kind of one of the scariest moments of your life for some reason. Uh, yeah. You do kind of think about if you've misread the entire thing, uh, especially I think like guys can be so dumb that you just like I've heard you, that. you need like almost a girl to just be like, I want to get married <laughs> before you can actually. Know. How long did you know, Debbie? Um, <laughs> what? My mic wasn't on. It wasn't on? Is it on now? We're good. Now it is? <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know, Maybe mine picked it I up. said a lot of amazing stuff. <laughs> It anyway. inspired both of us. Well, congrats on now. getting engaged, man. Thank you. At a festival? Uh, yeah, I did it at Bottle Rock, actually, uh, in cool. Napa. So, it's uh, lame. <laughs> <laughs> I had... Uh, During uh, a, someone playing, performing? So, Was yeah, someone playing? It was Somebody was playing. It was One Republic. But they, they were like they were on the stage at the time. I So back in, in 2010... Is that like your guys' band? It's not. It's not at all. So you but just randomly... Like, some of the songs are good. You sure, know? but did you just catch- christen them your band for the rest of your I mean, life? It has to be now. What we did was, like, I called the head of the festival, which is a random thing. Like, I shouldn't have his phone number, but I was like, hey, the first night we ever met in 2010, I took her to see a band called Madden Dragons. They're headlining. Like, I'm going to pretend I'm doing an interview like I'm doing right now, except there's not going to be an interview, and I'm just going to propose. And then we walked back there, and Kesha was back there, which is random. Uh, cause she's like my fiance's favorite artist. And she said, Oh my God, when I got down on her knee, I was like, Hey, yeah, didn't plan that. So, but, uh, wow. You're, that's a crazy story. You got a lot of, you dropped a lot of names there. On I that did. One. I tried to, I, I wanted, I knew her for nine years before. So Kesha, no, I would. <laughs> yeah. Kesha the Rose, festival promoter. the festival promoter. Yeah. But it, it worked out and uh, right. she said, yes, that's good. So, um, yeah, now people just ask when's the day and we're like, we don't know some point in the future it'll happen and we'll be like yeah cool but uh yeah so we're all like 30 years old now and that's what we do i guess yeah 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 speak but. for yourself man <laughs> i'm 17. welcome welcome to uh, adulthood eventually but one thing i was Good curious thing. about as well was like because we are sort of the same generation did you ever call it yeah, AOL well instant messenger did you call it aim or aim um you never used it, did I you? I was not. Were I you like an MSN guy? You just weren't on it. I guess I just was talking to real people. Wow. He did analog chats. <laughs> yeah, analog. You know, like what we're doing right now. Yeah. Wow. Real life stuff. Uh, no, I had a, I had a, I had an account. What was your screen name? I don't remember. Something about basketball, probably. Yeah. Do you remember yours? Uh, I am done. Something a number. That's somebody else. I drew a 69 it. in mine. Mine was little Ozzy Fo Show 11269. I didn't know what it meant, and I put a little in front of it. Classy. Yeah. 2004 was a weird time in my life, but yeah. Yeah. that's what we went with. And now, like, you guys are ready to play Outside Lands. You're headlining. Last time you were here, six years ago, you played on the Twin Peaks stage. Six years ago? Six years ago. You guys played a, before. It was actually uh, six years ago. I was to 11. The, to the day. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were 11 at the time. 11 years old. That was, it was, um, yeah, it was August 9th, 2013, and I know because I looked earlier today through my camera, uh, my photos, and okay. I took photos of, um, or videos of I Paul remember McCartney. S- yeah, Sir Paul McCartney was headlining. Yeah, and you guys played right before Zed, so... Uh, uh, I don't remember anything about that day except for 
Paul McCartney. Uh, Paul McCartney, the fireworks. You climbed stuff that day. Did I? I took terrible like camera, phone, videos on my 2013 like Blackberry. Okay. But it was it, it was Sounds life right. changing. <laughs> and now you're headlining the festival. Yep. Very stoked to have you back. It's been almost nice. a year since Trench came out, and just people have been gravitating towards the record. Um, is I'm curious something about you know having played the songs live now. Do you ever look back and like? Do you wish like, hey, maybe I wish I did something different on like Cut My Lip or Smithereens or? It's a dangerous road to go down once you release the song. Um, but no, I think that when we play it live, it solidifies what it's always wanted to be as a song. And so it's it's fun to, to get out there and see it happen in real life. Um, yeah, if I was to write the record over again, it would definitely be different. But I think that's a part of just the creative process and writing music i think that albums right now at least for the way that we do it it's just a snapshot in time of who we are mm -hmm. so if you were to apply that same amount of time to a different time of life it would be a different record um and so that's why it's always exciting to think about what what the next thing is never redoing what you've already done um but but using it to uh to kind of build off of where you've been and i don't know it's a good life lesson for for anything really yeah. not just music i feel like it's been a record that really grows on people and like those are that's like I code for like saying not very not very <laughs> catchy <laughs> it's i feel like one of the best records that that do that you know and i love that you had paul from mute math one of my favorite bands work with you on it and you can hear some of that influence and it's been uh it's been fun to grow in my ears i'm excited to hear some of these songs live for the first time tonight because miss the oracle set my fiance was pregnant so we okay. uh we didn't make it to that one but we had imagine dragons concert <laughs> she, she saw imagine dragons while she was in the belly she saw blink 182 while she was in the belly but oh wow but uh wait who my baby Saul? well well i mean heard i guess yeah so what are you talking about exactly it, uh, it's gonna attended maybe attended perhaps is a better word you know Fetus, unless fetuses have x-ray vision feed eye we, we don't know feed eye we don't know we don't know we can't know we can't know for sure it. but uh, we're excited for you guys to headline outside lance tonight and uh perhaps maybe you'll join you joined blink 182 on stage last night yeah so dude i was so fired up about that were you yeah i saw yeah. the video i was like it's my friend up here <laughs> playing, playing with Mutt? Blink 182 I was like, what it's like travis barker who i didn't say that but you know, Jeez. in my mind. Man, they, they really downgraded for a song. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I, I rarely will do like a guest thing, mm -hmm. but it, it it's like 10 times more nerve wracking than like playing our own show. Yeah, and I yeah. think because like when we when we go play a show, everyone out there is expecting like us to go on stage. But doing like a guest thing, it's it's really it's like, are they going to cheer when they say Josh Dunn? <laughs> they did. I well, they well, did. yeah. I mean, I guess I put myself in the position of like, if I'm going to see my favorite band, and then like my favorite song comes on, and then somebody else comes and plays it, then you feel like you you ripped off. So, yeah. it's yeah, it's I, I mean. So we apologize great. for all the the Blink fans that got got ripped off <laughs> yeah, last that, night because Josh played one song. Yeah, that loved them. that that song especially. We really we're we're sorry, and yeah. it won't happen again. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. And thanks uh, for letting me wear sunglasses set. inside. Man. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you no, for it's the sunny candles. outside. But as soon as you walk through the door, it's like, you get this feeling like I should take these off. Yeah. But I felt like just your demeanor, just really it warranted. It, the glasses. it let me do what I wanted. I just yeah. bought this cheetah sweater at Forever Twenty One Men today, which is a first for me. So okay, I just felt like that's the vibe we're going for. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, no, it works. I think we made it work. So I feel good. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Well. It's going to be a little less chill when uh, the show starts and, you know, maybe jumpsuit happens first, but cars will blow up. We'll see how it goes. This is about as exciting as it gets. Yeah. yeah. Typical. Just a normal day in 21 Pilots. Sunglasses inside. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>